family welcome back to my youtube channel um i thought today it was more than time for another kind of random haul a few things i want to address just before we jump into it first off is i know my makeup looks a bit weird it was kind of just i did it for a photo and it looks a little bizarre actually now i've seen it on camera i've done like white under eyes and like red glitter I look cool in the fall. Second thing is that I am wearing a hat, which I guess isn't that weird, but I am inside and it's a little weird. And there's a couple of reasons I'm wearing the hat still. Number one is that my hair is in dire need of a wash, but it's Christmas Eve Eve today. So I'm gonna wash it tonight for Christmas Eve. So it's looking glorious. And secondly is that it's the tightest hat in the world. And it's not only like completely smudged my eyebrows, but it has left like huge dents on my neep. So I'm just hiding that from you, even though I just showed you. So yeah, as you can see by the title, we're doing a TK Maxx and not Poundland. I went to B&M Home Stores haul, just a kind of random haul. I just went to see what they had. And I think first of all, I'll start with the makeup because that's what I'm kind of, what I do more on my channel. So the first thing I picked up is the NYX Double Stacked Mascara and Top Coat. So this is like a two part um, mascara system and it's obviously like a normal mascara but then there's also fibres. I can get it out. Um, nylon fibres is it? Let's have a look. Yeah it just looks like cotton wool. So the whole kind of premise is you put um, a coat of mascara on, a coat of fibres, a coat of mascara, I think it's just three steps, and then you should have like false effect lashes. I think I watched someone use this before and they didn't really like it, but that's the point of having your own opinion is to make it up yourself. So I'm going to try this out and hopefully, maybe, potentially, it will mean I won't have to wear false lashes every single day. So that's the first thing I got. Uh, I think this was $3.99 or $2.99, so incredibly inexpensive. And even if I hate this part, it's still a NYX mascara for $2 or $3.99, so win. Also in B&M, I picked up the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour foundation. I got this in 003 True Ivory. Good winter shade for me. This again was incredibly inexpensive. It's only £3.99. I wasn't going in with the intention of getting makeup but when I see a bargain I am a true Scot and I have to buy it even though my mum does says, my mum does says? My mum does say a bargain's not a bargain unless you really need that. So I needed it mum. Anyway this is just a Maybelline foundation and I generally really like Maybelline foundations. So the matte and poreless is really nice and when I was in high school all I used to wear was the Maybelline uh, Dream Matte Mousse which I think a lot of people do still use um, but yeah I'm looking forward to trying that out but the next foundation is one that I'm way more excited about. I picked up the W7 Legend Lasting Wear Foundation and I picked up two different shades. I picked up sand beige and buff and i did like put them both on my arm and see what the colors were at home because i couldn't test them in the shop they didn't have any testers and they were pretty much identical in shade but they do seem to really match my skin well so that's good this foundation is only two pounds 99 and i've heard really good things about it so i'm really looking forward to trying it i'm gonna try and film a kind of Christmas Eve, get ready with me tomorrow morning before we leave to go and be with our family in Linlithgow. So I will use this tomorrow morning and even if I don't film it, I will kind of do check-ins, but check my Instagram stories. That's kind of where I do check-ins and things like that throughout the day. Whoo! Breathe, Melissa. So yeah, really looking forward to trying this. Six pounds for both bottles. If I like this, that's crazy and Obviously, we can see how closely this looks to um, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, so I'm hoping that it's similar. <laughs> Moving on from B&M, I went to TK Maxx, and they often have incredible makeup and therefore incredible prices. If, 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 you 
can find stuff that hasn't been opened and swatched and touched and pretty much just destroyed. I found three things that weren't open. The first one is the Stila Convertible Color Dual Lip and Cheek Cream. This is a liquid, oh, I should probably show you. This is like a liquid, not a liquid. This is like a cream blush stroke lip color. Um, I got this because Lisa Eldridge uses these quite a lot. And if it's good enough for Lisa Eldridge, it's more than good enough for me. I picked this up in shade Fuchsia. It's really annoying. They had kitten highlighter in, but someone had just dug their nail in it. Like, anyway, this was £16 down to £3.99, and the packaging's gorgeous. And it was untouched. I am the one that has touched it. And this is what it looks like like a crazy bright fuchsia colour, um, as you can see. But I've really gotten into like cream contouring recently, so I really want to try like a full face of like cream products. I really did that no justice there, blending it out, but I'll use a brush on my face. But I really want to try like cream bronzing, contouring and cream highlight and blush, and just see if I can get a more natural, luminous, less makeup you look. Um, so I got that and it was only 3 dollars as well, so like I said, I cannot resist a bargain. Next up, and possibly the biggest bargain of all, by the way, in TK Maxx, if you're lucky, they have a lot of lipstick queen stuff, like a lot, and it's incredibly reduced for some reason. So I picked up two of these and I actually, I guess they're called the Cupid's Bow, because it says that on both boxes. Two different shades, these are £20 reduced to £2.99. Neither box was open when I was in store and there was none that I could, like, that someone else had opened that I could look at and see what they were. So I just bought them blindly and thought, you know what, it's Lipstick Queen, it's £2.99, how bad can it be? And I was really pleasantly surprised. So first of all, when you open it, you get a sharpener, which is always handy. And secondly, well, the main product, it's a lipstick pencil. So it reminds me of the NARS um, lipstick pencils that they have. And like I said, I got two different ones. So I got this really bright pink fuchsia one and this gorgeous red one. Um, I don't know if they have um, individual names. Um, okay, so the red one is the shade Daphne and the pink one is the shade Eros, Eros, E-R-O-S. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Delighted to have two new sharpeners though. So hope they're good. Anyway, let me swatch these for you. These are like um, creamy, opaque lipstick crayons, really. This is the pink fuchsia one. Holy mackerel, look at that. Yes, and this is the red one. There we are. Like if the shop was still open right now, and if I probably could be bothered, which I really can't, I've got a lot of things to do prior to zipping around for the next few days over Christmas, I would definitely go back to the store because there was a few nude ones there. There was a really dark, like dark plummy color. And I really wish I'd gotten more, but hopefully the next time I go to CK Maxx, I'll still have them. So I cannot believe they were only two pounds nine. Lipstick crayons aren't something I reach for an awful lot. If I really like the colour, then I will reach for them. So, really happy with those two. Hey. Who else absolutely loves chalk dips? You have to get two when you're married, um, unfortunately. I wish I could eat them both, but chalk dips. Moving back to TK Maxx, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen I put on my stories a couple of days ago. I was not farting by the way. That's me pulling a sticker off something. Um, you might see my stories a few days ago where I asked how do people organize their Alex Ikea drawers? Because my husband treated me to an early Christmas present of the whole kind of Alex desk Ikea typical YouTube beauty person set up, which I am over the moon about. And of course, when my beauty room is finished, I'll do a whole like room tour and everything, but I've got a lot more to get. I kind of want to, you know, build it up and make it all pretty. But anyway, I asked how people organize their um, IKEA drawers. And a lot of people said, you know, go to like TK Maxx and things and look at the cutlery section and look at cutlery drawers. So I went and there was a lot of really, really pretty cutlery drawers, but they were all quite expensive actually for, 
how many I would need I would have to spend probably around 40 or 50 pounds and I didn't really want to spend that much today two days before Christmas on myself and on drawer storage so I picked up these trays and in each um, pack for five pounds, six pounds, five ninety nine, you got this big massive one. So you can see how big that is, and I'll show you. You also got this little skinny one, which you can see I've already kind of filled with some of my foundations. For reference, this holds four, five, six, seven, nine foundations, and it also comes with this medium sized one, which you can see I have filled with my kind of face powders, and there's still um, room to expand in the back there so you got three sets well three drawers three boxes for six pounds and i thought that was really good so i got three different packs of them i'll insert a clip where i show you like my drawers overall with the drawers in them but what i really like actually but when i bought them i wasn't that keen on this kind of silicone rubber insert because i just wanted it to be all plain white but actually it means that the products don't roll around inside of it. They kind of just have friction with the box and then they don't roll around. And also on the bottom, it's got these like silicone rubber feet. They don't stick out much, but they're just little feet. And it so it means when you close your Alex drawers, the whole drawer doesn't just slide to the back and then you have to like pull it forward when you go back to use your, like open your drawers. It just sticks where you've put it, so it's really good. Um, really like it. I actually now have one spare because I don't really need this one, but I'm sure as my collection expands, I'll need it. Let's move back to B&M, and the rest of the stuff I got is all like toiletries. Um, may or may not know this about me, but I am addicted to buying shower gels and shampoos and like bath stuff. I love it. Um, so I I really like to have at least 10 different shower gels on the go, like eight different shampoos and conditioners on the go. And so I decided to kind of restock because I haven't bought any new ones in a while. I got a bag full and let me show you what I got. The first thing I actually got is body form. Naughty. I also picked up a packet of four Gillette Simply Venus um, Razors, that is the new name, razors, so razors. Um, I really like one use, like single use razors and I don't really use them once, I use them a few times before I chuck them in the bin. I find them so incredibly sharp. I usually end up cutting myself, of course, but they also get rid of any unwanted body hair. Um, saying that it is winter and I'm kind of just letting it all grow, you know, keeps me warm, but for the armpits at least, razors. Next up, um, I picked up a Dove So Fresh Moisturising Cream Pomegranate and Lemon Verbena Scent Antiperspirant. And I picked up because it was pink. Oh, it smells nice. I just thought I needed a deodorant to take away with me over the next few days. So I picked that one up. It's only a pound as well. So, bargain. Ooh. Then I picked up the Carex Strawberry Fun Shower and Bath. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? it smells like strawberries. Mmm. I'll probably use this more as a shower gel as opposed to a um, bath foam. Why can I not get words out today? I think I'm quite nervous filming because I've not filmed in a few days. I'll use this more as a shower gel than a bath, um, bubble bath, but it's an absolutely massive bottle and that's only a pound again. Next up is a shampoo and conditioner that's incredibly cheap, but I absolutely swear by it. I think this makes my hair look the best it ever looks. In fact, when I went and had my extensions refitted, my um, hairstylist said, I can't believe how good condition your hair extensions are. What are you using? And I was like, this. This, of course, is the Alberto Balsam shampoo and conditioner. And I usually pick it up in the raspberry flavor because I think it smells really good. And Hamish always tells me my hair smells really nice when I've washed my hair with this. So two pounds for both bottles as in all together. So I think that is incredibly inexpensive. And like I said, they just make my hair really shiny and healthy looking. It doesn't necessarily add volume. It's not for getting rid of dandruff or anything. I don't have dandruff, but you know, that's not what it's for. 
anyway, two pounds for both. Big bottles as well, last ages, 350 mils. Two pounds. Bargain. Ooh, I got this because my husband really enjoys this one. This is the Imperial Leather Marshmallow um, Shower Gel. And it does smell really good. Um, but yeah, that was only a pound as well. That's for him. I'll probably use it. Probably one of my favourite shower gels and I love when they have this on offer in any store but this is only a pound is the original source vanilla and raspberry. If you haven't smelled this, you need to. It is just heavenly. That happens to everyone. It's just really nice smelling. That's all I can say. You'll probably notice a theme as well when I talk about how much I love shower stuff. I really love pink shower stuff. So most of my stuff is pink. Um, that's kind of a, a necessary thing when I'm buying shower stuff. Then the very last thing that I bought is another thing that I completely swear by and it's another thing I use on my extensions and it keeps them really healthy and luscious is this Argan Oil Heat Defense Leave-In Spray with Moroccan Argan Oil Extract. And this is a heat defense spray, derg. And it is just like a spray bottle. It smells delicious. And you basically just, you know, after your shower, towel dry it, spray this in. I spray it quite liberally. I just let it all out. And then I'll either blow dry my hair or just let my hair dry naturally. And it just really helps with the condition of my actual hair and my extensions as well. You might be thinking, why do you have extensions when your hair is so short? It's for volume as opposed to length. Just so you know. But anyway, I swear by this and I think it is really lush and yeah, that's the last thing I bought. So I really hope you enjoyed this video of kind of random store hauls. I did go to Poundland. I did fully intend on doing like a full Poundland haul, but with it being Christmas Eve's Eve, um, and me having, you know, I don't love going shopping on my own if it's really busy. So I kind of went into Poundland and had a little panic attack. So I was like, I can't deal with this. So I left and I didn't buy anything, which is very sad because I was going to get the one pound um, Poundland toilet roll. I don't know if you've seen Ashen's video where he hauled it. Anyway, really funny. And I was going to get that for um, a stupid present for someone for Christmas, but I couldn't. So. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please give it a, lum a, a thumbs up, a thumbs up, and do subscribe. Leave me a comment. That helps me apparently reach more people. Um, also, come and follow my Instagram. It's Make Me Up Missa. I will link it down below. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and have a very merry Christmas and a very very happy New Year, and stay safe. Bye.